All right, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Taylor Brooks Road of the Show Series here in MLB 23 PS5, episode 89. Coming off of the heels of one of our best starts of the season against Texas, we go eight strong innings, striking out 10, giving up no runs, uh, and holding on to a 2 nothing lead that we had in the first. So, uh, Grayson Rodriguez will try to close out the series and get the win 2-1. We'll head to Cleveland, or we'll head back home for a series against a really, really good Cleveland team. Uh, who has the best record in the AL, uh, but that's not where we'll be pitching. We'll pitch the first of a two-game short series against the Atlanta Braves, uh, who are a really, really good team in this game. And it starts with their pitching. They've got Spencer Strider, Kyle Wright, uh, Luis Severino is added. They also have uh, Aaron Nola, although I believe he got dealt this year or, or hurt. One of the two, Ian Anderson and Huascar E. Noah. Um... Led by Strider, who hasn't had a great year. Uh, they lost Freed recently. Bullpen's pretty weak. Um, and I'd love to just check out their roster. Where is the... Okay, they are very hurt. Ronald Acuna dislocated his ankle. He's out for the year. Aaron Nola broke his arm. He's out for the year. And Michael Harris broke his forearm. Um, he's out for about a month here. So, we might have it a little bit easier today. That's sad on Acuna. Through 25 games, he was hitting 442. Oh my gosh, he's absurd. Um, yeah, that's insane, dude. That is such a shame. But anyways, this is still a really good lineup, even without Acuna and Harris, even though they gave Harris insane stats against righties, dude. I mean, look at this, dude. 93 and 86. Holy cow. Um, let's check out that lineup, though, with Riley and Olsen still. So Ozzy Albies is now leading off. Then Danny Mendick uh, is the shortstop, I guess. I don't know exactly where. Um, Vaughn Grisham is. Grisham is. Uh, Austin Riley hits third. Matt Olson fourth. Sean Murphy is hitting fifth. CJ Krohn plays right and hits sixth. Uh, Marcelo Zuna on left seventh. Isan Diaz was added and hits eighth, and then Dalton Guthrie hits ninth. They're really dealing with some injuries. They also acquired Joe Adele, um, Dominic Fletcher. Where is, where is okay? Where, I'm, I'm wondering where Freed and Grissom is, mainly, because Freed was really good. I mean, Grissom was playing really good for him. Max Freed signed with the Mets. He would never um, three or a six-year deal. Hasn't been as good with him. Suck it, Mets. Um, he would he would not go there. I'm just being honest. And then last name Grissom. Uh, Vaughn is still with the Braves. Uh, oh, we Taurus Calf, another guy that goes down, and he has a good contact hitting. Um, he's a really good contactor. So that's tough. We're gonna lose to the Rangers. Not good. Circle change, velocity, some control, some break. I'm going to see if the velocity thing's working, though I don't know if it is. We do win two against Cleveland somehow. Okay, so we've got a chance to have a winning episode. Uh, control break. Yeah, we'll go control. First game, and we will face off against basically uh, who Taylor is very similar to, and that is Spencer Strider. Uh, let's do it, man. We're 53 and 47. They're 53 and 47. Poor Braves are dealing with a lot of injuries. All right, let's get into this. Let's do it. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Baltimore Orioles. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And we could be in for a pitcher's duel in this one, partner. Both of these arms very capable of controlling the game from the mound. Yeah, and they know that it's Well, we know all about Spencer Strider. He's absolutely disgusting. He's having a bad year uh, in the sim. He's not having a great year in real life, either. Uh, he's kind of lost. Uh, I, I think it's some fatigue on his arm, but he's lost a little bit of velo. Uh, spin rates and stuff, so hopefully, I, I think the Braves just need to sit him for a little bit, give him a break, let him come back, post all-star break or something, shot on the ground, it'll be played, and shout out the shift, it'll be played by Gio Urshela, one down. Danny Mendick getting ready to hit. 
So here's Danny Mendick. Taking the slider out. And the Braves still sitting six games above 500 is really, really impressive. Losing so many good pieces. With Nola, who is their number two in their rotation, being out. In there for strike one. He's a good high school and then they're missing their Riley. starting center fielder and their starting right fielder and their starting shortstop. And all three of those positions, two of them being the, by overall, two best players in their lineup. And I mean, at this point, it's fair to say Michael Harris might be that second best player on this team. At least position player. Missing a couple calls here and we will be 3-1 to Riley. And he missed. So, two out walk, and now you face somebody you don't want to face. And that is Matt Olson, light tower of power. Smoked it. Walsh has it. Ends the first. All right. Let's get to Strider quick here. There you go. Nope. Sean Murphy, who's had a great year with the Braves in real life. Had a decent one in this. Swings through that. 94. Well, Taylor that blows it by him. Elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially. Adley catching us today. Behind the play. Great fastball. Maybe one of the most respected umpires Good take. around the league. One two. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there, and that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quiet. So it's a two two. Sean had a couple good takes. And if we miss really bad there. He absolutely launches that one in the center field. It'll be a lead-off single for the Braves catcher. That's how the second will start. One one. Next offering is in for a strike. Murphy on at first. Nobody out. Next offering upstairs. So Taylor is having a couple of control issues here. And Here's that is absolutely right pissed field. on. Deep right, gone. No. The Off the wall. It'll be a double a to follow the single. We've got second and third. Nobody out. out That's a really bad pitch. Down Here's down Marcel Ozuna. Who does strike out a lot. And that sure would be nice right now. Next offering we get the call. Thank you, Blue. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right Deep right and, and foul. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him. Deep left like and foul. Okay. Hello. Two runners in scoring position. One, two to Ozuna. He chase, <clears throat> but he got a piece. That stinks. Oh, we we're going to get him there. One, two. It's it. It's foul. Thank you. Goodness. One, two again. Osuna takes. Wow. Going right back to it. Slider. It's taken. Holy cow. We cannot get through this Braves lineup right now. Isan Diaz on deck. We got him looking. Big strikeout for Taylor. Him up for the backwards what a dot. Diaz up to bats on Sunday. On the ground right side, and it goes just foul. Gonna go up and down, bad idea maybe. It's popped up, it'll be pretty shallow. In fact, it'll be the infield that gets to it two down. And Taylor is working some magic here. He's got two outs, but he's not out of it yet. Dalton Guthrie, the new center fielder for the Braves, steps up and takes strike one. We've got a mode two. O's fans on their feet. Taylor delivers. He takes ball one. Here we go. One, two again. 
the curve yeah. is going to be taken. We'll go up and out. We got him looking! Taylor Brooks works his magic. Second and third, nobody out, and the Braves go one, two, three. Still tied at zeros, heading into the bottom of the second. That is one of the most impressive things I have seen Taylor do in this series. Maybe the most impressive. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a Silver Slugger. And he's won multiple Silver Sluggers now. It's not too hard to believe. Uh, Braves don't have a history of amazing second baseman. This guy's seen two change-ups in a row. I mean, you can make the argument for Dan Uglo one year, but he wasn't good by any means. Got him. 95 blew it by him. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Danny Mendick next up for the Braves. Slide out to center. So today we get Strider versus Brooks. That one's in there. And it's 0-1. Mendick. Man, what a treat. Fourth year, batting second in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. The next offering misses. And it's 1-1. One and one. One down, base is empty. Blowing him heater. And it's a little a more of a plate than I would want, but the third, no we'll take it. Haven't got anybody with this slider today. Maybe Mendick will chase. He won't. 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Got Ozzy with the fastball. We got a couple guys with the fastball last inning. And we'll get a pop up here. Thompson is chasing hard. He will get there in foul territory. Two down. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. And a foul ball. Riley. Goes six feet three inches. So Riley can absolutely destroy the ball. Uh, here he is going to ground out. And that'll end the third. And that will end the inning. So, into the bottom of the third we go, and we are going one, two, three as well. Strider is looking good. I believe we have this start and two more before we head into August. And he is going to stay fair again and ground out to Walsh for a second time. So, Sean Murphy crushed 1106 up the middle for a single last time. Murphy is a two time gold glover, winning one back in 2021 with. Oakland, Here we go, boys. and then in 2024, in his second year with Atlanta, after signing that six-year deal, wins his second. As well as being a pretty serviceable, above league average hitter, Murphy's worked out well for the Braves, helping him to a World Series last year, but he's going to strike out here. Pretty textbook pitching. Braves are the defending World Series champions in this series, and that will be a ground out. Willie Castro will be retired, and we will move on. Double for Shella, and we double him in. Adley Rutschman goes deep. We go on a huge run. It's six to nothing. O's. That's what I'm talking about, man. An absolute meltdown for Strider. And the fourth. And what happened here? So, basically, two RBIs. Uh, well, Castellanos led us off with a double, and then two RBIs go to Rutschman, then another one to Cordero. Uh, then o Odor hit a two-run shot, and then Walsh drove one in with a double of his own. So, you love to see it. And now Taylor has a pretty comfortable lead to pitch with here. And a chance to give us another win in another winning episode. This would be a 3-2 and two episode. We'll put us seven games above 500. And we have not had the slider working today. And once again, we can't get a chase. We're going to go back to it. I'm going to get a chase on this thing, man. And the slider no, I'm not. Misses. And 
nothing is drawing them to that slider today. It's up the middle. It'll be through the hole. And Ozuna starts off the fifth with a base knock. Isan Diaz. Isan Diaz. The eight hole. That one's in there. Popped out to center, or to the second baseman last time in shallow center. It'll be two strikes quickly on Diaz. We're going change up. Can't, can't get a chase right now. Regardless of how things were going, it made it a lot easier to come to the ballpark, whether you were doing well or you were struggling. It's fouled off. He's way late. We're going to go heater. That one's only at 86. And I'd say it's got to be one of the top places in all of baseball. And we go, oh, 94. And you had a cameo and just movie Moneyball as missed the spot. 2-2. Two, two. It's fouled off again. Two, two now. Battling and how about that? Good piece of hitting. 2-2. Right two, two. It's roped foul. And, and Nissan is making Nine Taylor work hard here. Nine pitches on the at-bat. And he got him. Finally, 84. Got him way out in front. And one down here. For Dalton Guthrie, just so you know, we are still playing on legend difficulty. The hardest it can be. With some adjusted sliders to make it even harder. Moving up the hue, or the computer contact and the computer power up a notch. Pitch misses. And it's a ball to sometimes strike. I get asked that. Sometimes Ozuna people don't believe me. First with one away. I'm just that good. Just kidding. Uh, one, two. I do know how to pitch to a CPU pretty well, though. Played this game enough. Up and in. Got him. Really didn't hit a spot there, but we do get the nine hole to swing and miss. And here's Ozzy Albies. Struck out last time on the fastball up. He's got three doubles over his last eight games. That's he looks at that one as that well, so it's 0-2. Curveball. Got him swinging. Taylor looks play. great. First, Strikes out three in a row, and that will end the fifth. Beautiful. So Adrian Hauser steps in the game. And how about Taylor posts all-star break right now? Just, just counting his last couple starts, he has 13 straight scoreless innings. That has just ended. No, it will not. Hey, it'll hit off the wall. Trace Thompson plays it and gets it in. Hey, Wash. Ah, that was a bad pitch. Hey, Riley, this is a bad pitch to you. Ooh. That one had crazy tail. More tail than drop on the fastball right now. I'm going to throw that one right down the middle. 1-2. Runner at second, nobody out. So 1-2 to Riley. It is hit on the ground. It'll move the runner up, and we'll get one down here. Man, I jinxed myself hard with that run scoring. We could still get out of it. Not worth walking Olsen, though. Not in a 6 nothing game. Our ERA has crept down a lot. We're down in the 1-8s. Maybe 1-8-6 right now. Yeah, one eight six. 8 6 Jeff's mom was one of Matt Olson's teachers. Where did Frank Cooler go? I'm not sure. I know Parkview produced some, like, Cliff Pennington and stuff. One and two. Olsen went. Yes, he did. We are going to have two outs again. And the Braves with risk. One for two. Is something I would yell about in real life if they were doing this. But Murphy is going to come through. Great piece of hitting there. Inside fastball. And crushes it. Into left center. So 100 mile per hour double off the mat of Sean Murphy. 
and as he connected out front, makes this a six to one ball game. So a six run lead turns into a five run lead, and five's a lot, but it's not impossible. David Fletcher has it, and he will get us out of the fifth here. But Taylor gives up his first run of the game. Adley starts us off with a double. We can't score him. Here's Cole Irvin. He gets out of it. Here we go. Uh, nope. Solo shot, Austin Riley. And, well... Ball game. Cole Irvin's just going to finish this thing out for us, throwing three solid innings of one round ball. And the O's will take another victory. Beautiful. And your final, six to two. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Taylor gets his 11th win, while Strider gets his 11th loss. Wow. And Cole Irvin will secure his second save of the year. Adley Rutschman had a really good day for Taylor. Six innings pitched, five strike or five hits, one walk. Uh, the one earned run it while striking out eight. We'll take that every day of the week, especially if it results in an Orioles win, which it did. So, next episode will be episode 90, which is pretty exciting. We should finish up this season by episode 100. Ah, uh, no, it'll be really close. The end of the season will be around episode 100. Uh, I didn't want to see two-seam velocity. Hey, it moved some. It moved some, I think. I don't think it did. I lied. Um, anyways. All right. We have uh, one more against Atlanta, and then three against Tampa Bay. Our next start, though, will be against the Boston Red Sox. So that's beautiful. They're only 37 and 67. A uh, big spot here to maybe try to catch some ground on the Rays before we head into August. And we only have the one start left in August. Uh, and then we'll start versus Seattle in, or in uh, August. But we the last start in July. I'm so sorry. Goodness gracious. We're 11 and 4 now with a 192 ERA, 136 innings pitched, and 188 strikeouts for Taylor. It's not even necessarily close uh, how far out in front we are actually Trey Thompson leads and walks he's got a 400 OBP y'all uh anyways and wins were pretty high up there we're tied for sixth uh and then losses only the three or four I forget I think four we must have four yeah and then saves um we're obviously not in that but we lead an ERA by a good amount uh which is exciting and then we should be pretty good in home runs allowed, right? Yeah, we've only given up nine. I haven't thrown a shutout. Jose Suarez has thrown three. <laughs> Isn't this an interesting season? Three complete game shutouts and still a 5-6 ERA. <laughs> a 4-4-5 four, four, FIP, though. That's not that bad. Um, and then in strikeouts, we are way up there above everybody else, except Chance Davis is right with us, only seven behind us. He's had himself uh, a strikeout heavy year. He's been good, 2-7-3 whip. Uh, and a 2-8-4 fit. So, Chance Davis once again kind of carrying an athletics team that just doesn't care enough uh, to compete. They are 44-58, and 58, which is better than you could say for them in the last couple seasons. But when you look at their roster, they just don't care. Uh, Zach Jackson is awful, actually. Ramon Laureano. Seth Brown isn't the worst player in the world. He's He had a really good power-hitting season last year. Um, Tyro Estrada, but like the problem for this team is they also just don't have much potential. I mean, you're looking at okay, Casey McCain is already 50, already 23 and he's 55 overall, not making it. Anybody else? Okay, Johnny Johnson, another reliever, is 23 and a 62 overall. That's he's gonna make it somewhere, just not anytime soon. Well, with this team, he might. An 18-year-old, 65 overall, who's pretty freaking good in the field already. Has some pop in the bat. Um, Robert Poisson and Max Muncy possibly could get better, but not really. Luis Medina, no. Gosh, this team is in a terrible spot. Joe Perez, no. Gunnar Hoagland, no. Uh, Logan Davidson's already 27. Soderstrom is not making the leaps they want him to. 
this Almanzar guy stinks with potential. Waldachuk, holy cow, they are just in such a bad spot. The only bright spot for this team is that they do have Chance Davis, who at the age of 21 is already almost at 700k. So if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks episode 89 in the books.